What's up everybody, Chat Cats Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. I am fishing on Nickajack Lake, Tennessee River, and it is a very nice, warm, mild day. It is end of December, December 27th, 2016. You know, what a nice day to be out on the water. I'm going to hit my typical spots, guys, and see what's uh, going on. All right, guys, all the rods are out, so let's see what we can get. Hopefully, we can get on a good fish. Targeting uh, bigger fish today, nothing small. So, usually during this time of the year, it's quality over quantity because in the wintertime, the water temperature gets colder and fish can become more lethargic, very slow acting. But with the catfish, when you get one, it's usually a very good one. So, and that's what I mean by quality over quantity. You won't catch a lot of numbers necessarily, but you'll have good quality fish you get. Especially when you're anchor fishing. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh! Oh, we got a good one on. Oh, guys, we got a tank. Oh! Yep. We got a tank on, folks. Oh, this is a good fish. He's rolling down there. good fish guys this was within 15 minutes catching a brute drag. Woo! Man, this one's a dandy. I don't know how big he is, but definitely over 30. And I'm going to say he's probably over 40 as well. He's moving upstream. Yeah, he's like really pulling the boat. Oh my goodness. That is a nice fish. See some bubbles out there. That is a nice fish. I don't know how big, but it's a nice one. Ugh. 
That is a beast. Look at that fish, fellas. It's good that he's already decompressed. I saw those bubbles. I'm gonna go and get the net. That's a beast. Oh man, that's a nice one. Let's get everything moved out of the way. Fifty pounds. Fifty pounds, guys. Nice fish. Let's go ahead and get him out of the net. All right, guys. Here he is, beautiful fish. Ooh. There he goes. Whew. Nice kick there, it looks like he was slipping out of my hands there for a second. Beautiful fish. Okay guys, so I wanna show you uh, kind of what I'm doing to catch these big fish. And you can see on the sonar right here that I've been here before. And this is a big hole that is right near the bank. Okay, here on the Tennessee River, Nickajack Lake. And uh, I'm actually on a current seam. And current seams can be very good at times, especially when there's higher flow. You can kind of see that the main channel is right here, okay? And I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so this can give you a better idea. There we go. So the purple streak that you see here is the channel. So in this hole right here is actually the hole that I'm fishing. I'm actually right near this bottom part of the hole and I'm casting my baits kind of in the bottom end of here. So when you guys are trying to find new spots on the river, just look at a map. Look at a contour line map. Go to Google Earth, Navionics, and you should be able to see what the river looks like. So this hole is right near the bank, and it's not a secret at all. It's just once you know how to read the river, and find out where some drop-offs are, some ledges, and so forth, you should be able to have better success targeting bigger catfish. So I just wanted to show you guys that and what that looked like. Now, I wanted to also show you where I'm anchored. You can kind of see right here that I'm kind of right on a drop-off. So I'm actually anchored in about 30 feet of water but the drop off is actually coming off the screen right now but i'm actually right on the top of a drop off so and that's what helped me get that fish so anyway i just wanted to show you guys that and uh, i'm only going to give this place a few more minutes and then i'm going to kind of move on to a different location and see if anything else is around so anyway guys we'll see if we can get another one Look at number one, guys, number one. Oh, yeah. Good fish guys, got a good fish on. Second fish of the day. There 
it comes. My salty fish. Circle hook around the corner of the mouth. There he is. That's a nice blue catfish right there, fellas. A nice one. There he goes. Back to the depths. All right, guys, we're going to call it a day. Uh, we caught two fish, one of them being around 45 pounds. And uh, pretty slow day, but well worth it when you get a brute. That's just how it is in the winter time, quality over quantity. Be sure guys to give a thumbs up for this video and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. All right guys, this bad boy is 57 pounds. Here he is, beautiful fish, beautiful fish. This is what I came for today, guys, is a monster.